So there was recently a pay three live stream going over the patch notes on what's coming in pay three's next update. This update is supposed to come out sometime next week. I'll leave the live stream linked in the description if you want to go watch it yourself. I'm just going to summarize the things that were mentioned in the live stream on what we can expect in pay three's next update. So in the live stream, they talk about the new heist syntax error that is coming out next week and you'll be able to play it with your friends if you don't own it and they do. And it also works cross platform. So if you're someone that plays on PlayStation and you know someone on Xbox that has it, all they have to do is invite you and you can play with them. They also go more in depth about the new enemy called Techie. The new enemy is actually a female. She's the first female uh, enemy we have in Pay 3. And what she does is she basically controls a combat drone. It uses a refraction shield to hide. She also has like a hide and seek gameplay where you have to look for her in order to take down her drones. And whenever you see her health and armor glitch, that means you're getting close to her. She's weak to ECMs and Aki. And she spawns before dozers. And she also spawns more frequently during FBI wave assaults. Now, as of right now, sentry turrets can't attack the drone for you, but in the future, it will be changed. And there will also be more features for her in the future. She's only available in the new Syntax Era DLC heist and in the future she'll be available on all the other heists. Also when it comes to DLC they talk about the weapon pack DLC as well and they mentioned the mods that be coming with the three new weapons. I'll put up the photos they showed off during the live stream of what mods that will be for each weapon. Also with the weapon pack you began the BSOD sticker and the whistleblower charm. And the last thing when it comes to DLC is the tailor pack. It will bring four masks, four gloves, and four outfits. These items are not level locked and they have no variants. But DLC is not the only thing that'll be coming to the next update. There will be free cosmetics as well. There'll be three new masks that'll be coming to pay three that are going to be level locked, but not level locked too high. And you can also customize them. Also in this update, there's going to be a new skill line called Scrambler. I'm going to just put up the photo they showed off during the live stream of each tier that will be part of the new Scrambler skill line. When it comes to the first tier, you can hack drones by spending one runtime. Stealth drones stop moving and are unable to detect you or your crewmates for seven seconds, after which the stealth drone will continue working as normal and your runtime will be refunded to you. Combat drones will become indestructible for 6 seconds and fight on your side, after which they will self-destruct and your runtime will be refunded to you. You also gain one runtime. And when you ace the first tier, whenever you place a tool, you gain rush. And when it comes to the second tier, called speed hack, as long as you have rush and the ECM jammer is active, your hacking attempts, phone searches, and QR code interactions are 50% faster, and radios of guards you kill are answered instantly. When it comes to the third tier, called signal scan, as long as your ECM jammer is active, all cameras, snipers, tickies, and the FBI van on the heist are marked for your crew. And when it comes to the force tier called extra pockets, if you have a tool in your loadout, you start the heist with 50% more tools of that type, round it up, minimum one addition tool. When it comes to the fifth tier, it's called kinetic short circuit. And as long as you have rush and the active ECM jammer, guard, first responders, SWAT, become stunned for five seconds whenever you shoot them. Sixth tier is called cam distortion. Cameras within 0.5 meters of ECM jammers you own are disabled. This effect starts when the ECM jammer is placed and lasts until the ECM jammer is removed or used up. Disabled cameras can't be hacked and all active runtimes on them are refunded. And the last tier is called full recall. You can interact with place gadgets you own to put them back in your inventory. Consumable gadgets can only be picked up if they haven't been used. Yeah, that's a new skill line called Scrambler. I'm just glad the ECMs are finally going to be more useful now, especially with this skill line. There's a lot of things to help with it because I feel like before ECMs were kind of useless, but I feel like with this skill line, it will for sure help it and make them actually more useful. Another thing to talk about in the live stream is armor and then pay through the next update, there will be armor repair kits. These armor repair kits will only repair damaged armor chunks, but not replenish them. These armor repair kits can be obtained every second hostage that is traded during post assault trading phases. The first traded hostage still giving a first aid kit and they'll alter between the first aid kit and the armor repair kit. Also, you can obtain the maximum of four armor repair kits of a single hostage with the use of silver tongue and negotiator skills. I'm pretty sure those two skills are basically used for hostages and better trading. And at some point, we'll be able to find armor repair kits around the map, just like ammo and health. They also mentioned dozers will now drop armor repair kits instead of first aid packs. And armor repair kits won't replenish armor if you lose it all. But in the future, there will be a skill that allows you to use armor repair kits to give you one more chunk if you have none. And one of the developers said that this is one of the steps towards giving heisters more access to armor replenishment in the game and that they're doing more stuff in the future. So we'll just have to wait to see what else will be coming for armor. They're actually making changes to overkill difficulty. They said they want to make overkill a little bit more harder. They said that specials will do more damage on health on overkill. Things like dozer melee, zapper, nader gas will do more damage on your health on overkill difficulty. Cloaker health damage 
will increase across hard, very hard, and overkill difficulty. And they're also increasing the special enemy spawn cap from two to three on the overkill difficulty. So now instead of two special enemies spawning, you now will get three. This update will for sure make overkill difficulty a bit more harder now. Something they also didn't go in depth about is that certain skills will be adjusted, but not nerfed. We don't know which ones, and we won't know until the patch notes are released. So that's something that is also going to be changed as well. Also, at the end of the live stream, they mentioned some other things that they're either still working on or things that are not coming and things that are not confirmed. They mentioned that there will be more interactions coming to pay three in the future. A unready button is being worked on. The loud and stealth feature is actually being worked on as well. So quick way might be coming back in the future. Weapon buffs and nerfs might be coming soon. Don't know when, but it just said that there might be one coming soon. There's still no update when it comes to offline mode. And sadly, there won't be a Christmas event for pay three. I can imagine they just didn't have time to make one, which is sad because I enjoyed the one they had in pay two. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. But that's everything they talked about when it comes to the pay three live stream, when they went over the patch notes, things that are becoming and changing for pay three in the next update. Leave a comment below what you're looking forward to when it comes to this update. And if you like the video and want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe.